snipes with people. Hey YouTube, be righteous from identity again. And first of all, I want to thank all of you for supporting me through this journey. I just reached 5,000 subscribers and I couldn't have imagined me getting there without any of you. I appreciate all of your support and to celebrate that, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Instructions on how to enter that giveaway will be towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. As we all know, Gear 2.0 will arrive quicker than we all expected. I honestly thought it wouldn't come for another couple of months, but we only have to wait a little over three weeks. I don't know about y'all, but I'm stoked about the news because everything just sounds so absolutely amazing. Which is why I wanted to bring this build to your attention, one that may be viable after the next update releases. It's one of those builds that's very effective against players and NPCs alike, so it's pretty much destined to be played in the DZ. If it's your first time tuning into my channel, I post brand new builds every week. These encompass both PvP and PvE. Also, my thoughts on Division 2 news and features. So if that's something you're interested in, then please drop a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'd love for you to join the family. To hemorrhage is to undergo heavy or uncontrollable bleeding, which is what anyone who is on the receiving end of this build will experience. In PvE, this build's unique talents allows for you to deal massive damage from distance while simultaneously retaining deadly resources that you can then use against players, one advantage that you can't get anywhere else. So whether you're playing on heroic missions, level 4 control points, or the DZ where this build shines the most, it's effective no matter what you do because this build gives you special ammo on a consistent basis, you never run out of it. Even though I said that this build may be viable for the next patch, we know that just about everything in this game regarding gear is going to be changed. So I don't know exactly how that will affect this build next patch, but I do know that the way I have it set up will give you a great head start for a good build to use going forward. So let me tell you how to put this together so you can start gathering the pieces. Alright y'all, here's the build and I'm running technician specialization because I wanted to get 3000 skill power. At first I thought maybe I'd do the build with the new firewall specialization, but it's very hard to get 3000 skill power, especially since this build has no utility mod slots. And I'm pretty sure that this build will be viable as far as an archetype for the next patch, because you only have talents on the chest piece and backpack, so I made sure of that, and all passive talents are gone. So whatever's in that place are gear set slots and you could even do this with aces and eights or tip of the spear whatever gear set you want to try because all of these talents are going to be changed we don't know what they're going to be but this format is something that you probably want to do going into the next patch just as an entry point for weapons i'm going with something a little a little bit different typically i run my urban mdr which you guys know i love but this SOCOM m1a feels really good it's super stable and it's really strong especially with this because I'm running Sadist on it. Sadist gives you 30% weapon damage to targets that are bleeding. And on this build, everybody's going to bleed all the time. Even if they have 100% hazard protection, they're still going to take damage from the hive. But when they are bleeding, they take an extra 30% plus whatever I'm going to do on my build that I'm going to show you. This is really strong. And I think I'm going to change distance to Allegro because this is unrolled. And I don't really care about the holster talent for this, honestly. Secondary, I'm running the Merciless. And good thing about this is because I have rifle damage all on my build, I can use both of these as primary weapons. 
I don't just have to use this as a secondary, but I'd rather use this because of the Sadist and it's just gonna do more damage than the Merciless. The Merciless is great for when you're fighting those robot dogs and the Black Tusk enemies because it pierces that armor and it does extra damage to them. So this is good to run as a secondary. Pistol, I'm only running for the Holster Talent, which is recharged and this gives you 25% duration ammo and charges when you're at full armor. So you're gonna see how this works later on when I get to the skills. All right. So the, the build is the four piece ongoing directive. Okay. Now ongoing directive, what it does. Okay. <laughs> this has to be some of the greatest talents on any gear set. Now, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen to this. So I hope it's something similar to this. I don't know. We'll see, but it gives you for the two piece, 25% bleed damage. And then, um, the three piece emergency requisition. Now this goes in tandem with the rifle and the, the whole, you know, concept of staying back and, Plan calculated, okay? Emergency requisition gives you combat resources, armor kits, ammo, grenades within 40 meters of you. And these are collected after you reload your weapon. Even if you fire one bullet, once you reload, it's gonna collect whatever resources out there. So you don't have to go anywhere. You can just stay in your position and collect the resources. There were so many times in the video where I just was sitting back and I had no armor kits or I was low on armor kits and ammo and I just reloaded and all of that, all of those resources just came to me. You know, this is great for staying back and zoning your enemy. And you'll see when I get to the skills how big my radius is for my hive. So it works even better with that. And then the four piece is the right tool. When you kill an enemy with the status effect, then it drops explosive special ammo. Now, no matter what, you're always going to have explosive ammo 100% of the time. And that's why I said it works really good in the DZ because the DZ is is pvp and pve so like when you when you finish a landmark you're going to be fully stocked with special ammo and dz is different it's not explosive damage okay it's incendiary bullets but that's still good when you're going against players you're not going to get as much damage with the sadist but you will make them bleed after every third kill so you, you're going to be able to utilize this in pvp not as much as you will in pve but the ability to have just special ammo at your disposal is is invaluable and on the mask i just have damage to elites and because I wanted to have 3,000 skill power, I rolled that on there too. Now, Frederick said in State of the Game like three weeks ago that damage to elites is going to be completely gone from Division 2. Alright, so he said that this is going to be converted to some other damage stat. Now, I'm, I'm curious to see what that's going to be. We'll just leave this as it is. Now, because I have so many red mod slots, there's red mod slots on every single piece of this gear, you don't even need weapon damage because you're covered you're covered okay and especially since i have pristine example which is a preference pristine example or Raldi is a preference but you do need vigilance because vigilance is what helps you get more weapon damage when you don't have it on your chest piece now if you have another chest piece that has three attributes like uh, gila or something or fenris then you'll be able to have weapon damage armor and skill power but this came with forty thousand armor and i rolled 1000 skill power on it whatever i can to try and get 3000 skill power and this also works really good with this whole concept of emergency requisition because you're sitting back and you you collect your resources and you have the radius of the bleed hive. All right, I'm going to explain that later. I'm going to get to that later, okay? The holster is an ongoing directive. Nothing special about that. It just has 40k health and 33% skill haste. It probably would have made sense to roll skill power, like 800 skill power on here instead of health. Now, this was already like this. And the reason why I didn't do that instead of the chest piece is because it costs like 400 I don't know why, but it costs like 400 ceramics. I don't know why I rolled this so much, but I just had to get the video out. So I ended up rolling it on this instead. So it's okay. The weapon damage is still there, you know, and I have all rifle damage mods in here. Now the chest piece and the backpack are important to this build because the new patch is rolling in a couple weeks. They said that all passive talents are going to be gone. Only talents are going to be on a chest piece and backpack. So when you make builds like this, even if it's with a aces and eights, tip of the spirit whatever we don't know what's going to change you want to make sure you have the backpack and chest piece open which is what i did and i have vigilance on the chest piece spark and harden on the backpack with thirty-one thousand armor a little bit of weapon damage and crit damage really great backpack got some really nice gloves for the ongoing directive came with 300 a little bit over 300 skill power which is really good for some gloves and 11 percent rifle damage for some reason i cannot get that sweet spot roll for rifle damage i got 13 percent shotgun damage 13% AR damage. I just can't get it for the rifle, but 11% is good for this build, especially since it has so much damage on it. Knee pads, nothing special, just ongoing directed knee pads with 390 skill power. All right, y'all, for the skills, I have the Bleed Seeker Mine and the Bleed Hive. You want everybody to bleed. Man, if you throw this hive down with the radius that it has, the mods that I have are 99% damage, 98% damage, 
and 93% radius. Now mods are going to be pretty much insignificant when it comes to skills. They're not going to be the mods that make or break your skills. They're going to be very small and they're going to do like an incremental boost in damage or health or whatever. So these 99s and all these OP mods are going to, are going to be scrapped. But this is for the build right now. Okay, it does 31,000 PvP damage. This radius is crazy huge. It creates an area of denial that makes people just pretty much not want to go in the radius. So this goes hand in hand with your build. And even if they do have 100% hazard protection, like I said before, the damage from the hive still hurts them. And for the bleed secret mine, I wanted to make it so that I'm on an almost 10 second cooldown. So I got two skill haste mods and one damage mod. The important thing here is for the bleed. You're still going to do an insane amount of damage, but this applies bleed, so you want everybody to be bleeding all the time. Whenever somebody's bleeding, that just slows the enemy down. They run slower, so you can get away faster. It's just really good for team engagements and solo play. The Hive's Radius mod is what helps you zone and keeps your distance from your enemies. And the emergency requisition exceeds that radius, so in fights, you have that reassurance of knowing that you can engage more efficiently. Yeah, and so that's pretty much it for this build. I did say at the beginning of my video that I was going to do a 5k giveaway, and this is how you enter. Very simple. You have to be a subscriber, first of all. You have to like the video, and you have to comment on the video. And under your comment, just hashtag what system you play on, whether it's PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. That's all you have to do. And in my next video, I'll announce the winner. Now, I noticed that a lot of people have been complaining about the price of the Warlords of New York expansion. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the Warlords of New York expansion away for my giveaway. So one of you will be lucky enough to have that for free. Okay. Like I said, that's it for this build. If you think that this build will be viable for next patch, let me know down in the comments how you feel about it. And if it helped you out in any way, please don't hesitate to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Be right out.